Dave Chappelle Lifestyle and Net Worth David Curry Weber Chappelle, born August 24, 1973 is an American stand-up comedian and actor. He starred in and co-created the satirical comedy sketch series Chappelle's Show, 2003-2006, before quitting in the middle of production during the third season. After a hiatus, Chappelle returned to performing stand-up comedy across the U.S. By 2006, Chappelle was called the Comic Genius of America by Esquire and, in 2013, the Best by a Billboard writer. In 2017, Rolling Stone ranked him number 9 in their 50 Best Stand-Up Comics of All Time. He has a net worth of $60 million. Over the years Dave has appeared in dozens of films and TV shows, but he is most well-known for his stand-up specials. His Netflix stand-up specials in particular are the source of the majority of Dave's fortune. He has a height of 6 feet which is approximately 1.8 meters tall. Having said that, let's roll. Chappelle Early Life David Curry Weber Chappelle was born on August 24, 1973 in Washington, D.C. His parents, Yvonne Chappelle Sian and William David Chappelle III, were professors. His great-grandfather Bishop D. Chappelle was the president of Allen University. Chappelle was raised in Silver Spring, Maryland. He grew up idolizing Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor, and family friends, regaled with Dave's humorous antics and monologues, often commented that Chappelle would likely grow up to be a comedian. Chappelle's parents separated when he was young, and primarily lived with his mother while spending summers in Ohio with his dad. He graduated in 1991 from Duke Ellington School of the Art where he had studied theater. Chappelle Career After high school, Dave moved to New York City to pursue a career in comedy. He performed at the Apollo Theater's Amateur Night and was subsequently booed off stage, but soon made a name for himself anyway on the New York comedy circuit. He appeared on HBO's Deaf Comedy Jam in 1992 and won critical and popular acclaim for his performance. This was a turning point in his popularity, and he became a regular guest on the late night circuit on shows like Late Show with David Letterman, The Howard Stern Show, and Late Night with Conan O'Brien. At age 19, he opened with a comedy act for Aretha Franklin. Chappelle made his film debut at the age of 20 in the 1993 Mel Brooks comedy Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Chappelle then took other film roles, including a small part in the Eddie Murphy starring feature film The Nutty Professor in 1996, and co-writing and starring in stoner film Half-Baked in 1998, and attempted several failed television pilots before launching his own series, Chappelle's show on Comedy Central in 2003. The show was wildly popular and ran for two successful seasons and was nominated for two Emmy Awards before Chappelle abruptly left during production of the third season, though Comedy Central later aired the episodes created without him. Chappelle cited the fact that he did not like the direction the show was going, that he was overworked with 20-hour workdays, and did not have time to devote to his stand-up career as reasons for leaving. Walking away from the show meant the cancellation of a $50 million contract with Comedy Central. Chappelle has continued to reap the rewards of his long, sometimes hard-fought-for career. He received a Grammy Award in 2018 for Best Comedy Album for his first two Netflix specials, The Age of Spin and Deep in the Heart of Texas. His Equanimity special also won a Grammy, as well as an Emmy Award for Outstanding Variety Special. In 2020, he clenched his third Grammy in a row for Sticks and Stones. Chappelle Personal Life Chappelle has been married to Elaine Mendoza since 2001. They have three children together, sons Suleiman and Ibrahim, and a daughter, Sanaa. The family lives on a 65-acre farm near Yellow Springs, Ohio. Chappelle also owns several houses in Xenia, Ohio. Dave converted to Islam in 1998. He threw his support behind Andrew Yang in the 2020 presidential election. Dave donates his time to Seeds of Peace International Camp in Maine. The organization brings young leaders together from communities in conflict. He organized the Gem City Shine charity concert in August 2019 in Dayton, Ohio, 
with a star-studded lineup consisting of artists like Stevie Wonder and Chance the Rapper. The benefit concert was held in honor of the victim of the August 4, 2019 Dayton shooting, and raised nearly $70,000 for the Oregon District Tragedy Fund. Kindly hit the like and subscribe button for more interesting videos.